Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to move the camera a bit. But I was so freaking, like, there's so much thing to talk about in this episode. Oh, uh, the Rise of the Shield Hero, episode 18. And I gotta say, fuck that shit, because I gotta, mm-mm. I'm pacing my ads to experience what the fuck just happened in this episode. And I'm gonna do my best to calm myself down and calmly explain what I just sprint, what transpired in this review of, of the Shield Hero episode 18. So, last week, Victoria, the new harem pack to the Shield Hero, telling him that telling him that you four need to work together and figure out a way to solve, you know, figure out a way, compromise. We not here to fight. Let's just we we four were summoned into this world and let's make something happen. Okay. Now, as okay, the only the, the I'm sorry. That was good and all. And the most adorable thing that Philo did in this was so when that not only she got a new card, but she sounded like a little daughter. She's like, it's my now and she transformed to like a yeah it was like she got her own card it's brand new that was so adorable okay oh push that aside they were going across the border to talk to the other heroes to talk to the other heroes it's something we got to work together or something because if you guys know about it, the shield hero can compromise with the bow and the sword hero you know what i mean they can compromise so they had to cross the border but then all of a sudden it's like going to one of those RPG games where you go across this border and you gotta beat the boss battle of the game. So yeah, you gotta meet him. I mean, you, you gotta go against the shield hero again. Now, am I, now I know I'm miss, I know there's been a lot been going on since episode one up till now. But has it ever occurred to you that the shield hero kind of beat the spear hero about twice? I mean, like the controversial win. You know, like, like the one that everybody's saying, oh, the spear hero beat the shield hero. But it was actually the shield hero won that fight due to Mai's interference. That's kind of like a, that's kind of like shield hero one, spear hero zero. How about the race? When Philo, I mean, when Philo first appeared in the episode and they had a race around it in the lap, who won that? Oh, the shield hero. So that's two wins to zero. So now this is their third fight. But, yeah, this is their third fight to me. So this is like Shield Hero versus Spear Hero. Sword versus, I'm sorry. Shield versus Spear. Round three? But in a fight where it's just, just these two alone, it's round two. So, yeah, the fight is on. But this time, the Spear Hero, yo, I'm going to slap this guy so fucking bad. This guy is being brainwashed so much by their words that he's not even going to find proof that they're alive. He just... The moment he should charge at the spear hero, I mean the shield hero, he goes on to say, Oh, you killed, you killed Rand and Isaka. you killed them, you killed the other two heroes. There's not now for me, it's like, what are you talking about? I didn't kill them. He, his words didn't even care. He just charged and trying to actually kill them. And, this, and I'm like, yo, you fucking stupid. Are you stupid? Show me your car facts. Show me car facts that, that, that they actually like, show me car facts that the spear hero actually do it. Did he only go by words and not his not his own eyes? So the spear hero is like, I'm sorry, so so this I'm saying. Now for me is like, oh, do you have do you see their bodies? Did you see proof that I killed them? And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, here come bitch ass mine, right in the corner, just saying, oh, we heard it from the cathedral or from the from the king from the other side, you know what I mean? We heard it from other people that you killed them. You're the devil of the shield, you've been brainwashing them. Bitch! Oh, God, I don't even want to punch her in the face. I'm telling you, if I ever see mine, if I ever, if I ever see mine, I'm going to have a sit down, tie her a chair, and just slap her 100 freaking times. Making these false accusations again. I mean, I can't get this. First, the rape, then kidnapping the princess. I'm mean, kidnapping the sister. And now this. Can we honestly say that mine is best villain of 2019? I mean, I know that she... I know everybody's really saying, oh, she's hot and all, she's best waifu. Okay, I get that. But can we honestly put mine for best villain of 2019 over Isabella from The Promised Neverland? I'm just saying. But mine, you know, being a good villain she is, she's really making it freaking work. She, all she did is brainwashing the spear hero throughout this whole thing. And what makes matter worse, they put her, they put her up in a big-ass lightning cage for them to have a fight between Nafumi's party 
and the Spear Heroes party. This is a battle between which party is better. And we all know from the beginning whose party was better. There was nothing to be, there's nothing to, to like, cheer for the other side. There's nothing like, oh, go Spear Hero. Oh, go Shield Hero. No, 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 no. We all know from day one that, that the Shield Hero had a better party than the Spear Heroes bitch ass ladies. Okay. Okay. Now. <sighs> Sorry. Let it out. Okay. So now, in this, it was a battle between which party was better, you know what I mean? Spear Hero put some work, but it wasn't enough. Come on. The Spear Hero's like, what, level 30? Shield Hero's like, what, level 99? Come on, that's not... Come on, that was so obvious. That was so obvious. And then, you know, talk about combination fighting. I mean, with all due respect to the Spear Hero, give him a little respect. I mean, he did put in some combination work with his party. Put in a fire, wind towards the spear and all that stuff. Okay. But the teamwork that the, that the S.H.I.E.L.D. party did, that was hella great. Let me just say this. You talking about it. You talking about Philo doing work. Philo fighting in both human form and chicken form facing the spear hero. That was great. And not only that, the spear hero. And not only that, the Philo... Philo kicked him in the balls three times now. <laughs> three times. Three times he kicked. Three times Philo kicked him in the balls twice. Finally. This is three times in a row. You can see the reaction when she kicked. You can just tell he kicked. You can tell she she really kicked him downstairs. I'm like, yes. And the teamwork that. Talk about team combination between the uh, Shield and Raffatilia. That is a good ass combination. Both of them were doing it loose, like Mirage Magic with the anti-strike shield, you know, second strike. It was combinations. And talk about combinations that Philo and Melty did with their Typhoon spell. That's great. And not only that, Raffatilia, matter of fact, did mine, when mine did call out the Spear Hero's name, did you, she she did like a Juvia thing in Fairy Tale. You know how Juvia said, Grisama, you got a freaking, you got mine doing Father. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's sounding like a freaking Juvia. And I like Juvia. But don't don't disrespect her. Please don't disrespect her. Okay? So I like when Raffatilia did the Mirage trick and slice freaking freaking mine. Court truth be told, you should have cut her in half. I mean I know I understand Raffatilla cut her. But at least at least could have cut her half body off so that we don't have to see no more of her ever again. And and he and the spear hero being still stupid. He still thinks he's brainwashing them. It ain't got nothing to do with brainwashing them. He's been training them. Stupid. All you've been doing is playing superhero work, getting all the ladies and all that shit. You don't even care about leveling up yourself. You don't even care about training with those three ladies you have. All you care about is just going to town, being a hero, la di da That's all you got. Bullshit. You see what I mean? Straight bullshit. And he's like, nah, and I like... I like when the shield hero beat the spear hero's party. The shield hero saying, oh, because we, we work together. We do out the trials and droop, and throughout all the trials and the walls you gave us through, we always fight and we always train. And still, he and still, the shield hero has been doing that. Now, everything was all good and all until that faithful hero. When they feel him after they heard that, they're like, I, I like when... Philo kicked all all the all the parties in the spear hero into one big circle into one circle, saying, "Quickly, put the shield up right now! Put the shield up right now! They're gonna, it's coming!" Soon they put the shield up, psh, whole thing blow. All because we know the villain was the priest all along. The villain, the priest, priest uses mine like a little pawn of realm to be part of the villain to control them. So now it's just like. My, you deserved it. You're doing exactly what the priest did. <laughs> you're giving him false accusations. Mine, you're doing the same thing. That's karma. Your karma's a bitch and you are one, mine, you see? Even Mel said, uh, even Mel said, hmm, that's kind of like, that's kind of familiar to someone. Duh, mine. And then the priest, you know, the priest made some good accusations. I'll be honest, for the priest made some good accusations. He's like, oh, you three heroes are doing things but destroying the country with it like oh like the spear hero with the plan you cause an infection dwells in 
the spear hero, the bow, trying to understand the population of society, making people poor, and the bow hero just save a dragon zombie, but it caused an infection throughout the entire country. And I'm like, yeah, you see that. You see the point of all, you see the point what he's trying to say. He was using y'all so y'all could accuse the sh so, so y'all can accuse the shield hero. Duh. And then my, and then he's like, oh, but aren't you just supposed to die? Aren't the next queen and the spirit supposed to be died by the devil of the shield? Spirit hero's like, what? Oh, you're stupid. You finally know it now? You finally get it? You're not? It took him this, it's like, it's like, duh, duh. And then you listen to all the words that everybody been telling you, Spear Hero. And then when you finally tell the Spear Hero, when you finally tell the Shield Hero, it's like, not for me, it's the one who killed him, right? <laughs> I'm like, you're finally getting it now? You're finally, when is it going to get in your head now? You, you finally see it now? He did not kill them. He didn't even, he didn't rape mine. He didn't kidnap the princess. He didn't kill the two heroes. All those words you hear is from them, but you're not listening to the shields hero's actions or his words. You're just listening to what the higher ops is telling you, and you're just listening to them so hard. You just listen to them so hard like a dumbass that you're not giving the shield hero any any questions or any words about proof that he's actually done all those shit. That's the problem. Of course, that that scene with the priest didn't have big with his sword and just lightning strike. I mean, did, did one big explosion? He should have killed mine. I could I'll be honest, in that explosion, I could have just like Philo, just push him aside, let them die. But I but but Victoria, you know, being a queen, she did say that uh, heroes need to work together. So keep them alive and we'll work together. That that's the that's what I'm trying to say. That's keep it. And so I'm like, oh here we go. But I, I sad the way how it ended with a cliffhanger, you know, making that when she got when he, when the priest got the sword and trying to end it all, like that's cliffhanger. Why would you do that? Now next next episode it says the four cardinal heroes. So you guys know what that means. I'm not gonna spoil you. I'm gonna might spoil a little bit when I say this. Look from that episode title, you know, or when you look at a preview for next week, you know that the bow and and the sword hero are alive, and those four heroes are gonna work together. Truth be told, let's just see how these four work together. It may be good, it might be bad. But other than that, these four need to work together instead of just doing things in a different ways and work together to work on one compromise, one goal, and that's to defeat the priest. So, again, this episode is really in type and all. I love it. I love to see, I love how the shield hero beat the spear hero's ass again. You know, the shield hero has come a long way and he proved that he's better than the spear. Even twice as better than his party. It doesn't matter how many party members that the spear hero has. The shield hero with his party just still kicked his ass. And for that, we thank you. So, I look forward for next week's episode. And I hate to say it again, we got to keep mine. And we're going to have to work. And we're gonna, all these four heroes are going to have to work together. So let's see how that goes. So I look forward for next week.